Hi, Serrano students, Mrs. Bean here to welcome you to the 23-24 school year for eighth grade here at Serrano Intermediate School. I'm going to walk you through some important steps to make sure that you fill out your eighth grade elective form accurately so that we receive all the information we need to give you the classes that you want for your schedule next year. And we will do all that we can to meet your requests. I'm going to walk you through the elective form. As you can see here at the top of the elective form, it will be capturing your, your email. So this should be occurring through your student login as you fill out this elective form. Your six digit student ID number needs to be implemented right here. That is your ID number that is next to your profile picture in Aries. It's also the ID number that you use to log in to get lunch here at school. It's the ID number that's on your ID card. So that's what you should be putting in here. And that helps us collect this information accurately and making sure that we're getting the right information for the right student here at Serrano. For your first and last name, please make sure that you put in your full last name and your full first name as it appears in Aries. And then if you do plan on attending a different school next year, please indicate that here. Moving on to electives, we have two different forms of electives. We have year-long electives and trimester-long electives, which we call the elective mix. If you're going to be picking a year-long elective, most of those electives are application-based. So please make sure that you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you fill out the appropriate uh, elective applications for the ones that you want to apply for. If you are filling out that application, please make sure after you submit the application that you go back to this page and finish filling out the elective form and submit this as well. For your trimester elective mix, there will be three different electives that you'll go through throughout the year. Each trimester, you will have a different elective. Those could be different based on the numbers of students that apply for electives, that choose electives, and what our master schedule is able to have in the schedule at the beginning of next year. If you are in STEAM 7 right now, then you will automatically be placed in STEAM 8 as it is a two-year committed village program. So you will be automatically placed in STEAM. If you were hoping for another elective included with STEAM, then you need to make sure that you check down below that you wanna be in zero period. And then you will indicate on here which year-long elective you also want to take. You must take a year long if you want to have zero period, not an elective mix elective. Here is where you, you will rate your elective choices, one through th three as your top choices that you would like for Serrano. This is where you will find the different applications. You will click these, go to them, fill them out, turn them in, and then come back to this page and finish submitting this elective form. By you checking these boxes here, that means that you understand that we will accommodate to your, the classes that you've chosen as best we can, but nothing is absolutely guaranteed. If you choose zero period, you are checking here that you acknowledge that this is a year long course. Once you uh, request a zero period and you are given zero period, you are expected to stay in zero period for the year. So do make sure that you are ready to be here at school at 7.15 a.m. in the morning. If you are not a morning person and it's difficult for you to get here or you can't get transportation here, maybe zero period is not for you. By you filling in your name and parent guardian name here, this is your signature that you understand that you've completed this form as accurate as you can. And please make sure that you do have this form filled out and submitted to us by April 10th. 
If you have any questions about your elective form, please contact your counselor technician, Ms. Trahey. Her email is right here, and she'll be help helping you with any questions that you have along the way. Thank you and good luck on filling out your application.